Hello, my name is Adriana. I'm a Mi'kmaq librarian with LA County Library. And we are going to spotlight African American pioneers in the field of STEAM. But stay tuned at the end for a fun activity with the periodic table of elements. Today, we're going to highlight Dr. Marie Maynard Daly. She was an avid reader, a teacher, a chemist, and an activist. I know, what an inspiration. She did so much. And by the end of this video, I'll be showing you some of our resources so you can make your own exploration in STEAM. Dr. Marie Maynard Daly was born on April 16, 1921 in Queens, New York. She went on to become the first African-American woman in the U.S. to receive her Ph.D. in chemistry. Her field of study was biochemistry. Daly was heavily influenced by both of her parents. Her love for science from her father and her love for reading from her mother. In fact, it was a book by Paul de Cruyff that made a big impact on her. The book was called Micro Hunters. Can you think of a book, movie, or music that has had a big influence in your life? Reading really does take you places. And like many, Daily read for hours topics about science and scientists. After graduating from Hunter College High School, she was inspired from her father to study chemistry. Daly went on to receive her Bachelor of Science and Master of Science in Chemistry at Queens College and New York University. Fun fact, Daly received her bachelor's degree and graduated magna cum laude in 1942, and she completed her master's degree in one year. During her time at NYU, she worked as a lab assistant at Queens College, and her time there helped her with the cost of going to NYU, something that was an obstacle for her father who had to drop out. Just like Daly, her father was also studying to be a chemist, but due to financial difficulties, he had to quit the college. This will later play a major influence for other students at Queens College, and we'll talk about that later. After Daly completed her master's degree, she kept pushing forward and enrolled at Columbia University to receive her PhD. Her focus was on how the human body's chemicals help digest food. Daly would go on to do research for the Rockefeller Institute in New York and Columbia University, focusing on the causes of heart attacks with Dr. Quinton B. Deming. Later, they moved their research at Albert Einstein College of Medicine at Yeshiva University in New York. They studied the correlation between high cholesterol and clogged arteries. This also led to other groundbreaking discoveries in understanding how food and diet affects the heart and circulatory system. Not only did daily do research. She was also a teacher at Howard University, Columbia University, Einstein College of Medicine at Yeshiva University, all up until her retirement in 1986. Dr. Marie Maynard Daly was a true inspiration. Not only did she open the door for others, but she held it open. Recognizing the need to encourage other people of color to enroll and graduate in medical school in the field of science, she started a scholarship program to honor her father for minority students who wanted to study science at Queens College. Now, after learning about Dr. Marie Maynard Daly, and if you feel inspired to do a fun activity with chemistry, we're going to look at the periodic table of elements. Don't worry, we won't be mixing elements but we are going to use the symbols of the elements to create words. This is a fun activity to get to know the different elements and understand their element number, symbol, atomic mass, and their category, but also a cool way to make art. Let's look at the materials we'll need. Paper, pencil and eraser, a square template, black marker, various colors like crayons, markers, or colored pencils, scissors, 
and of course a periodic table. First use a pencil to trace the stencil square on your paper. I recommend filling the whole page. Afterwards, we're going to need a periodic table to create a word. Here, I have decided to spell out shark and looking at the periodic table, I'll be using the elements sulfur, hydrogen, argon, and potassium. Within the box, I'm going to include the element number, the and the atomic mass, not just the symbol and the name. Now elements have different categories like noble gas or poor metals. To do this next part, you'll create a key and your choice of colors for each category. Using the periodic table of elements, you will color each element to its category of elements. It is up to you how you want to color it but I'm going to add a simple border at the bottom and right side. When I'm done, I can cut out my piece and do it all over again. Fun fact, you can spell a little over a hundred words, but remember, you can also use abbreviations or acronyms. For example, LV and U can say love you. Or you can create a chemical compound like H2O. If you want to learn more, check out our LA County Library webpage, where we have access to various resources and databases, all free with your library card, including Britannica School, an information resource for elementary, middle, and high school students, or curious individuals. But you can also create a fun game out of it. So let's give it a try. You'll need to fill out the whole paper with boxes. Three boxes going across and four, go, four or five going down, as many as you can fit on the paper. The purpose of the game is to create as many words as possible on one sheet of paper, using three boxes or less. Don't forget to use your periodic table as your guide. You can keep score with two points for every word, one extra point for any empty boxes and half a point deducted for any repeated element symbols. You can also add challenges if you know the element name, symbol, atomic number, or category. Fun fact, the only letter not included in the periodic table of elements is the letter Q. Who would have thought the periodic table would be so much fun? but challenge yourself and see what's the longest word you can create. I hope you enjoyed learning about Dr. Marie Maynard Daly and of course the spelling game with the periodic table of elements as much as I did. If you're interested in checking out Changing the Equation 50 plus US Black Women in STEM to learn more about inspirational black women in STEM like Rebecca J. Cole, the second US Black female MD, or Mary Eliza Mahoney, the first U.S. Black graduate at a nursing school. Please visit our website for up and coming events and please click in the description box to fill out a short survey to help us plan for future programs. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new videos. Thank you and bye for now.